Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kudash. I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles, uh, chiefly of the house of Great Millstone, who I've learned this truth from. Uh, peace and salutations to the brothers on down who've been pushing this truth out in all sincerity, doing the work. Um, to the women and children who will be saved through the men of the Lord. And also the Israelites scattered abroad and the confusion of face Israelites. Shalom. Uh, so today uh, I was just going to do a quick, well, not a quick lesson, but I was just going to go into a, a, a topic that's so, sort of been uh, in the, the headline of the news recently. Um, and I'm going to title this video something along the lines of uh, be careful with who you align yourself with. Um, the reason I want to do that is, uh, well, I'm going to get into it anyway. Uh, so many of you are, if you know, unless you've been living under a rock, um, have been watching the news about uh, the incident with George Floyd and the other brother, uh, I forget his name, uh, was killed outside the Wendy's. Uh, black men being murdered in the streets by the police and uh you know from that it sparked protest nationwide well globally everywhere everybody's protesting and they're all protesting under this banner of black lives matter um so black lives matter obviously you know it's off the back of uh you know innocent black people uh, or so-called black people um, mainly the men, uh, but there are some women like Sandra Bland, you know, Corinne uh, Gaines, and uh, a few others. Um, I can't think of their names right now, but um, you know, we all know, you know, brothers in the truth, we know that this is of the Lord, man. This is the Most High doing His work, you know, and two thirds will have to unfortunately taste, you know taste the, the wrath of the Most High because they, they choose not to repent, you know. But um, <clears throat> before I go off topic, I, I just want to get into the uh, the Black Lives Matter thing because a lot of people have aligned themselves with this Black Lives Matter. And everywhere I go, uh, anytime I speak to Jake, they are talking about Black Lives Matter. We've even got uh, Edomites talking about Black Lives Matter. I mean, not all of them, but, you know, a, a majority of them. And uh, so I went to the uh, the website, right? And I was having a look around, just see what they're about. And uh, I come across this uh, I come across this video, and the brother was was bringing out about uh, the Black Lives Matter um, movement, and uh, he pointed out something to me which I thought, you know, needs to be sort of we need to sort of discuss it, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, there, there's other videos that you're seeing now pop up about where the, the donations for Black Lives Matter is going, you know, and it's not going where you think it's going, you know, to to the people that need it, you know, but it, it's going back to, uh, you guessed it, Esau. Uh, so I'm going to pull up this website, Black Lives Matter. All right, so this is their website. And, uh, the, in their about section, um, they they sort of changed it and they've made this a little bit hidden. But I, what I'll do is I'll post a link to this in in the video, most I will in. And um, this is their their statement under what we believe, right? I'm gonna read through this, right? And I'm gonna just yeah. Well, you you'll get the idea when you when when I read through it, and. Uh, <laughs> You're going to laugh at this, man. You are going to laugh when you see this. But uh, anyway, without further ado. So this is the Black Lives Matter website. And this is what they uh, what they believe or what we believe, the, the section. Uh, so it reads, four years ago, what is now known as Black Lives Matter Global Network began to organize. It started out as a chapter-based member-led organization whose mission was to build local power and intervene when violence was inflicted on black communities by the state and vigilantes. In the years since, we've committed to struggling uh, together and to uh, imagining and creating a world free of anti-blackness, 
where every black person has the social, economic and political power to thrive. Okay, so now we're going to get into the uh, to the meat of, of this belief for Black Lives Matter. You know, the, the thing I notice about this as well, uh, just quickly, is that they like to entice you at the beginning. They'll entice you to their their cause, their movement to get you on board. A lot of people don't like to read. You know, they don't like to sort of dig into these things. And I've had to read this over a couple of times just to understand. And you're going to see the hypocrisy of, of this whole movement. That's why I say, be careful who you align yourself with. You know, so uh, it reads, Black Lives Matter began as a call to action in response to state-sanctioned violence and anti-black racism. Our intention from the very beginning was to connect black people from all over the world who have a shared desire for justice to act together in their communities. The impetus, uh, impetus, impe impetus for that commitment was, and still is, a rampant and deliberate violence inflicted on us by the state. Enraged by the death of Trayvon Martin and the subsequent acquittal of his killer, George Zimmerman, and inspired by a, the 31-day takeover of the Florida State Capitol by Power U and the Dream Defenders, we took to the streets. A year later, we set out together on the Black Lives Matter Freedom Ride to Ferguson in search of justice for Mike Brown and all those who have been torn apart by state-sanctioned violence and anti-black racism. Forever changed, we returned home and begin building the infrastructure for the Black Lives Matter Global Network, which, even in its infancy, has become a political home for many. Ferguson helped to catalyze a movement to which we've all helped give life. Organizers who call this network home have ousted anti-black politicians, won critical legislation to benefit black lives, and changed the terms of the debate on blackness around the world. Through movement and relationship building, we have also helped catalyze other movements, which you see that, catalyze other movements. You've got to look at their wording, so other movements, okay, we'll remember that. And shifted culture with an eye towards the dangerous impacts of anti-blackness. These are the results of our collective efforts. The Black Lives Matter Global Network is a powerful, uh, is as powerful as it is because of our membership, our partners, our supporters, our staff, and you. Our continued commitment to liberation for all black people means that we are continuing the work of our ancestors and fighting for our collective freedom because of its, because it's our duty. Okay, so, you know, it, it all sounds good up until this point, you know, they sort of, you know, we're a powerhouse, political, rah, rah, rah. Blah, 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 you know. But uh, what they're missing is the, the one key thing that will make it all work. And that's the most high. They don't look at the most high as the source of the power that will help so-called black people, so-called uh, Hispanic, so-called Latinos, uh, so-called Native American Indians. You know, we look to our power because we know who our power is. We know what he is capable of. That's why we, you know, give all honor, glory and praise you know, to the Most High, and his son Yahweh Shai, you know, all praise, honor, glory be to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, but I'm going to keep reading anyway, um, so these are the results of our collective efforts, okay, the Black Lives Matter Network is as powerful as, the, okay, so I read that bit, okay, so every day we recommit to healing ourselves and each other, and to co-creating alongside our comrades allies and family a culture where each person feels seen heard and supported we acknowledge respect and celebrate differences and commonalities so hold on a minute so you read we celebrate differences hmm okay i'll keep reading we work vigorously for freedom and justice for black people and by extension all people hmm Okay, so now is where it starts to get juicy. Well, not juicy, but you start to see their true colours and what their true agenda is. Okay, 
So we intentionally build and nurture a beloved uh, beloved community that is bonded together through a beautiful struggle that is restorative, not depleting. We are unapologetically black in our positioning and in uh, in affirming that black lives matter, we need not qualify our position to love and desire freedom and justice for ourselves is a prerequisite for wanting the same for others. Okay. We see ourselves as part of global black family and we are aware different uh we are aware of the differences uh slack yeah we are aware of the different ways we are impacting or privileged as black people who exist in different parts of the world we are guided by the fact that all black lives matter regardless of actual or perceived sexual identity gender identification gender expression economic status ability disability religious beliefs or disbeliefs imma uh, immigration status or location let me zoom into this we make space for transgender brothers and sisters to participate and lead we are self reflective and do the work required to dismantle cisgender. Now, this word cisgender, right? We're going to Google it. Okay. So cisgender, right? Denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex. So in other words, somebody who identifies, you know, who's born as a male with male genitals and he identifies as, gen uh, as, a, as a man or a male, they refer to this new term that's come about, the cisgender. I've never heard that term before, but this is what that means. OK, so. Their, what was their statement? We are reflective. And do the work required to dismantle. Let's look at that word. Dismantle. To take a machine or structure to pieces. Hmm. Okay. So we are self-reflective. And do the work required to dismantle cisgender privilege. And uplift black trans folk. Especially black trans women. See it there. So forget about the man. You know what I mean? The the leader or, or the, the one that's supposed to lead in the homes. Forget about them. Let's just go for somebody who's confused. You know, the, the black man who wants to be a woman. Let them lead, you know. This devil makes me so damn sick. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. This place don't make you you upset, man. There, there's something seriously wrong with you, man. <sighs> anyway, um, especially black trans women who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. We build a space that affirms black women is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered you know what i mean like didn't black lives matter start because our brothers the black man was being murdered unjustly you know what i mean like <sighs> babylon has to go man it has to go you know what i mean because this is this is confusing this is a land of confusion this is confusing so they want women to be centered or, or they want women to be free from sexism and, and be centered. But they want the man who wants to be the woman to be the center and also to lead. <sniffs> Come on, man. So you want a woman to lead a woman that's actually a man that wants to be a woman. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. It makes no sense. 
Esau's an idiot, man. What an idiot. So stupid. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some scriptures because you know that's the whole you know thing is the edification. That's the, the main focus. So the first scripture I want to get is in Leviticus. Um and it's uh I believe Leviticus 18 and 22. Yeah, yeah, okay. So thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind, it is abomination. So that's a law, you know what I mean? That is a law. You know, these these transgenders, I don't even really like understand them or, or know what, what's going on with them, to be fair. You know, they're laying down with with men, but they want to be women. I don't I don't know. It makes no sense. But, you know, we know the law. And I can even in in um Leviticus 20 as well I think uh yeah and if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman both of them have committed an abomination they shall surely be put to death their blood shall be upon them so you know it's down to them you know what I mean they choose to live that lifestyle because the most I gave him up to that vile affection. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get that scripture. It's in uh, Romans. Romans chapter 1. Start 1. Um, ah, yeah. So it's Romans 1, chapter 1, verse 25. And it reads, uh, and I'll read on down. It says, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie? And worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. Who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. But that, that's another thing that I wanted to say about this. Uh, it's like, yeah, this is another thing I want to say about this. What about, you know. When they're, they're trying to center the women, you know, what about the women that identify as men? What happens to them? You see the hypocrisy and the, the stupidity in this whole thing? It's like, you know, you got a, a cause for our people, so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, you know, a cause for that. And then you got the, the you know, the homosexuals trying to hijack that to their agenda, you know? It wasn't enough. Obama didn't do... Well, Obama's a hammer anyway. Obama didn't do anything for so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but did more for the gay community. And then now we've got Black Lives Matter, but now they're doing stuff for the gay community. It's like, man, don't nobody care about black people here, man. Or so-called black people, man. And it is, it's evident, you know. It's evident. So, back to the scriptures. But it says, uh, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Yep, and even as they did, uh, uh and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, Whispers, backbiters, haters of the most side, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, like this is a, a complete evil thing that they've invented, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affections, implacable, unmerciful. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's an order to things. You know, there's an there's an order, and there's always been order. 
But it, it you know, as the scriptures say, uh, get the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 31. As the, the scriptures say, you know, they, they speak, they come to life. And this, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22 says, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man. And that's basically, you know, what we're seeing take place here. We are self-reflective, do the work required to dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans folk, especially black trans women. Who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. We build a space that affirms black women in the free uh, and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered. Like, what's wrong with the man being centered? You know what I mean? That's the way the Most High wanted it. But as you can see here, the woman shall compass a man. If it ain't the woman wanting, you know, more rights. To do this, that, and the third, you know, they want to be in the position of men. However, as it is written, you know, the Most High has, has order, and this order is going to come back into effect. The women are going to real, realize that soon enough. So, this is First Corinthians eleven and three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach Yahushai is the Most High Yahweh. And that's the order. It goes the Most High, Yahushai, man, woman, child. You know? And that's just the way it is. But the woman doesn't want to hear that. And it's the same spirit since the beginning. Since Adam and Eve. You know? When Eve was beguiled by the serpent. This is her being beguiled by the serpent again. She's going to realize the serpent ain't got no more power. The serpent's about to be cast into hell and slavery. So, you know, it is what it is. I mean, there's more on this. Not a lot more. I mean, but I just wanted to get to the main bits. You know, which is... Uh, this bit about the, uh, about, you know, not being for the man and uplifting the woman. That's why a lot of the time when you look at a Black Lives Matter uh, protest, it's a woman speaking. It's a woman that's leading it or it's it's a, um, a, a gay man or, or, you know, somebody leading. This is their, their whole, their whole thing that they're doing. You know what I mean? So, another thing. Let me uh, let me see. Actually, Google. Um, Black Lives Matter. Um, let me see. Okay. Black Lives Matter gay. I'll type that in. I'm sure, Google will bring up something. Yeah. Look. There we go. Look at that. Gay liberation now. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> oh man, come on. Abominations, man. Look. The fist in rainbow. Anyway, man, enough of this. Oh, Slakia. Let me, uh. Speaking of, like, the statues that are being, uh, torn down. Uh, where is it? There was an image. Yeah, here it is. This is the image. Look, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> the rainbow symbol underneath it. Quite comical. But uh, anyway, enough of this. Uh, get this off my page. Anyway, enough of um, that. I just thought I'd bring that out because it was interesting. Reading through their um, their beliefs, the Black Lives Matter movement, and realizing that it's not for the man. They want to dismantle the man, uh, the leader of the household, which in itself is is a racist, 
racist thing because you know the man is the, the lead the house they don't want to sort of you know salakia before i go i want to i want to show you this salakia yeah salakia i um, just had to uh to find that that uh page but yeah like i was saying man the, the black lives matter movement that statement is racist in itself this here uh image that you're looking at this is part of the Willie Lynch letter, okay? Now, when you read through the Willie Lynch letter, I won't read it uh, just for the sake of time, but when you read through the Willie Lynch letter, you know, it quite literally says that, you know, it wanted to put the woman above the man, you know, teaching herself to be independent, you know? And that way, she won't need the man. So what they, they know is that when they destroy the man, it destroys the family. And that's literally what that, that statement was doing. Exactly what this letter is saying. So the Black Lives Matter movement, their beliefs, is the same beliefs as the flipping Willie Lynch letter. Are you crazy? <laughs> you know what I mean? Esau's being exposed, man. We think we don't know what's going on. We know. We see you. And as long as I've got breath in my uh, air in my lungs, I'm going to do it all I can to expose you for the damn devil you are. But anyway, with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai for allowing me to bring this lesson out. I pray that it's edifying. And uh, I want to say Shalom.